We got a mouse in the van. How do I know? Uh, in our little food pantry storage, there the toilet paper is all shredded, and we also have a hole in the oatmeal. So this morning's mission is find the mouse, get it out. I think we're gonna have to completely clean everything. I don't really want to deal with mouse shit, mouse shit in such a small confined space. Fucking bitch! These stasher bags are so expensive. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, let me. I'm more mad about the sasha bag than I am about having a mouse in here. Yeah, I should have made a pee ring. A what? A pee ring. Should have peed around the entire perimeter of the van. Does that help? Bigger animal keeps away a smaller animal. Why couldn't they eat these like shitty crackers instead? I know. All of our stasher bags. Damn. Stasher bags, not mouse proof. There's most likely a mouse still in the van. I know, he's being quiet, because I can tell. See, this is the shredded toilet paper that was the first sign. How long do you think we've had it? The, my, the mouse? Yeah. Probably since we got here. A day or two. Because this wasn't like this yesterday. No, it wasn't. I think this mouse has um, Unique taste. better taste than to eat ramen. Oh man, the expensive fucking pasta. Oh no. I don't really want to take a chance. Do you? Yeah, because they can hold diseases and stuff. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, our friends are coming. They've also been dealing with a mouse. We have a mouse! Yeah, we've got a whole family. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, this is a fun wake up. Did you see it or you just- No, I was just like looking yeah. and I was like, why is there toilet paper like this? I figured cause we like, oh, yeah. mm, stuff got thing. all shredded and then yeah. I saw like our food bags I was like, it's over. just cheap toilet paper. <laughs> oh, that's a monster. Ew. All right, so we confirmed it's not in the front of the van. It's might be in the garage. We do have like access to the back so we can turn off our water pump back here. So I'm just gonna empty out everything and hopefully we can find him or her or it. We knew this might happen when we went into the desert. People have told us that once you go into the desert, you might get a mouse. It doesn't matter how old your vehicle is, no matter how good you are at sealing whatever, mice can still get in. It's just annoying. No signs of the actual mouse though, which concerns me because I'm worried that it's in a weird spot in the van. So I made this cleaner. It's half vinegar. <coughs> that peppermint essential oil is really strong. I got some eucalyptus, some peppermint in here, and uh, it's really strong when I spray it. So hopefully it'll, I'm just gonna clean out the benches. So mice don't like the smell of peppermint. I have some dried eucalyptus and dried, uh, pine in here and I'm just gonna add eucalyptus essential oils in there put it in the snack basket and hopefully it will stay out of our basket how are you doing Matt how am I doing yep how are you doing right. I have a minty pouch minty pouch, minty pouch. I like minty pouch. <laughs> smells very minty I guess the mouse didn't like protein pancakes but we're still smoking it out in here we found out that it's not in the garage. It looks like it hasn't made its way into the garage, so that's fine. Highly likely that it's no longer in the van, but we're taking this time to reorganize everything. What a sad day, and we still haven't even had our breakfast. All right, no harm done, except to those stasher bags. That's the only thing I'm upset about. But this gave us a good excuse to do a deep clean, and uh, we are doing it. Who so. wants another van tour? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right, it's um, 3.46 in the morning, and I hear the fucking bastard. The mouse is back. Ooh, is that a little turd? There's a little tear in the bag. I found it. I don't know what to do. I never fucking dealt with a mouse. A live one, at least. Oh, my God. Is it right there? Is it's, it like It's in this drawer. The only drawer I didn't clean. I don't know what to do. It, it's right there, you can see it? I saw it, yeah. I don't know what to do about a mouse. Uh, we don't have traps or anything, I don't know. Tongs? You gonna grab it with tongs? I, I don't know. I don't wanna grab it with my bare hands. It already waged war on us. I gotta bring the war to it. 
I really have no idea what to do. It didn't jump out, right? As far as I know, it's still in here. You found it? Did you catch it? No. Did it run out? Yeah, it's out of the thing. Damn. Pants, pants, pants. Where do I keep my pants? <laughs> I'll get your pants. Here. Get him, baby! If I catch it with my hand, I'm just gonna yeet it across the parking lot. That's good. <laughs> it is 3.45. Oh my god, and I am not getting out of bed. I have like a very vivid memory of my dad taking the palm of his hand and just like smacking a mouse and running it around the house. And it was like dead in seconds. Your dad is more of a man than I am. Uh, my daddy's better. <laughs> I usually like to be sleeping at this time. So Matt's gonna grab the tape and we're getting smoked. <sighs> you heard it? Did you? The eucalyptus might be a deterrent from the food, but it's still gonna hang out here until we put a trap in. Once my sister and I found a mouse that was giving birth to babies. Huh. And, uh... Did you kill that one too? No, we took it outside, walked it, like, down the street, and then put it to the side. And I felt so bad because it was a new mother. <laughs> you don't care about that mouse, do you? No, I fucking hate the every mouse. Oh my God. Hey, remember when I said that we should seal oh, those look. boxes? This countertop split again. Oh, no. Ugh. It's not... The best day. When? You're gonna sleep with one eye open. I probably won't sleep. I'll probably just be thinking about this fucking mouse. After a very sleepless night, I am going to investigate and see is this fucking mouse still in the van? Answer's probably. I don't think it went away. Hey babe, if I start yelling, it's okay. And it's also like 10:30. Right, the tape I put in there is still intact, so it means that the mouse did not go through the little crack that's over there. Let's go check out the drawer that he was definitely in. Alright, no signs of him. No fresh poop. He didn't even eat the cornflakes. Like, of all the things to eat, why not this? The crappiest stuff we got. I got a clamp to fix the counter. Oh yeah, let's show it to you. Sick, huh? Yeah, that's the second time it split. I got um, mouse traps. Okay. I think we're dealing with a rat. I know you're super stressed. I didn't sleep at all last night. I know. I'm tired. Apparently, they don't like the smell of cayenne, and I'm poking some holes in it so that well, they can smell it. But there are no poops, so he didn't spend any time in here. Yeah, I think I just scared him into here for that one second, like you said. This is a stressful moment for us in van life, especially for me. Um, I hate mice, I hate uh, germs, and mice and germs have a lot of those things in common. We got so many DMs on Instagram about everyone's mice problems, and I'm surprised that we didn't have a mouse problem until now. We're almost six months on the road, and this is like a problem everyone has. Everybody. I'm gonna go underneath the van and see if it's not like hiding in the frame rails or anything underneath there. Um, there's no signs of a nest in the van. I'm gonna also check the battery compartment and the gas tank is in the ProMaster. You can see the gas tank from the top. All right, there's no signs of any nest underneath the van. Haven't checked the headliner shelf yet, so that's the next spot. So while I'm hard at work trying to find this freaking mouse that's infiltrated our whole space, Megan's making booty shorts. <laughs> what are you working on, babe? Well, I'm cutting these jeans into shorts because I really need shorts. Bet your ass gonna look great. Alright, here's hoping that I can get the headliner emptied. No mouse jumps out at me, but if it does, I'm gonna be ready. I realized last night if I had the like, gloves on, I would have just grabbed it. I just don't really want to bare hand a mouse because they're just nasty. My dad and brother thought it was a good idea to have a pet mouse when we were younger. Megan's scarf. How's my booty short? Good? Been nice. Alright, no signs. Do you think that maybe it, um, it's sleeping? 
and we're not even close to it, so it's not getting disturbed. Finish my shorts. Check it out. Mmm, damn. Give us a thumbs up for Megan's butt. You guys didn't really think this whole vlog was going to be about us finding a mouse, right? Time to fix our crack. This uh, clampy bot Too doesn't big. fit. Too big. Does that look good to you? Yep. Well, hopefully that holds up. I'm stressed. Why, babe? It's just a lot of things. We have a mouse. It's alright. Clean the split. It's really okay. Alright, we'll see what happens. I bet you guys didn't know I was a handyman. Because I do have hands and I am a man. Regardless of that stupid fact that should not make it to the internet, I'm going to attempt to repair our butcher block countertop with some tiny little cabinet hinges. It's a piece here, a piece here, a little thing there. It's not going to look the coolest. It's going to look kind of stupid. But uh, this is what we have, and this is what I'm going to use. If we didn't tell you before, this happened once before, and uh, we did that whole clamp wood glue and it stuck together and it's lasted five months. I think that this part of the butcher's block has a good chance of being replaced within the next probably six months to a year. All right, let's see if that held. Ready? Mm-hmm. Nope, that should have stayed on. Do you want to try to put this back on, take those off and glue it all back together? While van life has its perks, kind of sucks sometimes. Today it sucks. All right, this is the rare moment that Megan's having a breakdown in Matt's house. Oh, leave me alone. Tell us what's going on, babe. I'm just so tired. This is like the worst day ever. Just one thing. Ah! <laughs> you were so close to my face. One thing after another. Ugh. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm just so drained. I have no energy. All right, I ate another stash of bag. Yep. And in the middle of the day, while well, we were right on top of it, I was sitting right there all day. Never heard it once. So there's a poop. That's the granola. And tissue paper. And a little bit of tissue paper. All right, I slept through the night no problem. Did not hear anything. Two traps on the counter are still um, not trapped. So I just heard a little rustle underneath the cabinet. So I'm going to go use our sliding door to see if I got it or surprise it and grab it with my bare hands and then proceed to just throw it as far as I can in this parking lot. That's the plan. That's how every great plan works. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I have an idea of where it is, so I'm just gonna stick my hand in the hole. I know it's in like this, I think it's a C pillar. I don't think it's the B pillar. Um, I'm 99% sure that's where it is. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. All right, so I think we have the wrong spot. Um, there's no nesting materials in there. I know it's been taking toilet paper and a little bit of that tarp and some snacks. There's also no droppings there, so it's kind of a giveaway. Um, I'm glad we had the second door, though, because this makes it a little bit easier. It's probably a little bit more challenging, too. It's going to come out today. It's going to be hungry. We will get you. Mildred. We didn't name it Mildred. Someone else named it Mildred. It's been a week since that last day, and we did not catch Mildred. I think that we effectively smoked out Mildred, and Mildred just went away. We didn't get that climactic, I found that mouse moment, but I'm just glad it's gone. The biggest problem about having a mouse in your van is they could literally chew up anything. So it could eat your insulation, your electrical wires, any wires, and that's just going to be a nightmare. So we're glad it's gone because we spent a lot of money on this build. And if you want to find out how much money, go ahead and check this one out here.